Now let's discuss circular motion from a different perspective and let's discuss it in terms of linear speed. Linear speed is what we all tend to think of as being speed alone. Uh, for example, in our cars we might drive 50 miles per hour. That's a linear speed. That's a distance that you travel per unit of time. So let me write that really quickly. Linear speed, if I can spell speed, is distance traveled per unit of time. So something like um, miles per hour or feet per second, any distance per unit of time is a linear speed. So if we use our two circles up here of different radii, uh, the second circle is twice as big as the first circle. The radius is twice as big. The circumference is twice as big. Let's consider some object traveling along the path of this circle of radius 1. And let's say for simplicity, just to understand this concept, that this object makes one revolution per second. Okay? And now let's come over here to our larger circle Consider a different object following this path. Let's again, for simplicity, say it makes one revolution every second. Now what I want to do is compare their linear speeds. They're, making, they're both making one revolution per second, so that's uh, the same. But clearly, the pink guy has traveled a greater distance, right? In fact, since the radii are 2 to 1, the circumferences are also 2 to 1. So this, this circle has a circumference twice as big as this circle. Okay, So I want to talk about how to calculate linear speed, first of all. And then uh, you, know, you can sort of run with it. So what I want to do is uh, the circumference here would be measured in feet. right? So let's work on this circle. Circumference will be measured in feet because ra the radius is measured in feet. So I'm going to begin with my revolutions per second. So I have one revolution per second where we write it like this. One revolution per one second if you wanted to. And I need to convert that to feet per second, right? So our goal is to get feet per second. So we're going to figure this out. Alright, so what we have is uh, I don't want to mess with seconds because I need seconds in the end on the bottom. I want to get rid of revolutions, so I need to put one on bottom to cancel the one on top. And I want to replace that with feet on top, so I'll put feet on top. Now I simply need a conversion factor for this circle. Well, let's think about one revolution. What distance in feet is covered in one revolution of this circle. What distance in feet is covered in one revolution of the circle? Well, if you make one revolution, what distance have you traveled? Isn't that the circumference? Okay, so the one revolution is the same thing as the circumference in this case. So if you're talking about distance, one revolution is the circumference. And the circumference of this circle is 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times the radius 1. So I'll just make a note of this. This is the circumference. All right. And so what we end up with is revolutions cancel as we expected. And we end up with 2 pi when we multiply the top, so 2 pi. On bottom we get 1. So we get 2 pi feet per second, which is approximately 6.3 feet per second. Now if you were to do the same thing over here, instead of using 2 times pi times 1 for your circumference, the circumference in this case equals 2 times pi times 2, which of course is 4 pi. So this guy travels a distance that is twice as much as this guy. And we said that earlier, this circle is twice as big, so the distance around is twice as big. So the distance is twice as much.